Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and enter in our hours for each item per month. So uh, let's just say we're going to rent out jet skis in April for 80, 80 hours. We'll get 80 hours of rental. And uh, 50 for pontoon boats. And let's we'll just say 80 for kayaks. Okay, um... Now obviously these numbers would come from research. We're just using these as inputs. So say one twenty for the eighty. One twenty from May. Just these for getting more in the busy season. It's a little bit busier, you get more hours. You can see I'm just using the arrows to move the get down, up and down, over different cells. So like right there, I just hit the down arrow. Now I'm going to move over. So I hit the right arrow. Up arrow. And I just continue to fill in. All the numbers, all my input. Okay, so we have that there. We know our hours, but obviously, in order to get uh, our revenues and our total, we need to know how many hours we're at, what we're actually renting these items out per hour. So I will copy these. Jet ski, pontoon boat, and kayak. And I'm going to place those down here. And then, let's we'll say we're going to rent out jet skis for $65 an hour, pontoon boats for $100 an hour, and kayak for $15 an hour. Okay, and again, we're going to want to merge and center, and then title. And there. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pretty this thing up a little bit. Um, first of all, we'll give this a little title right here Investors. So you can see I'm just doing little things to make it. I'm going to do little things to make it look better. Uh, we want to give these borders so we can highlight what is going to be this whole model and we'll click come up here and I'll click on all borders you can see there's several different options of different types of borders that you can do but we're going to click all borders and this is all just preference you know how do you want your chart to look there's no there's, at least for this there's no standard form okay and then you know you can see here we have vessels monthly revenues these are not the same as jet skis, pontoon boats, and kayaks, so we need to go ahead and separate these. As vessels is also not the same as marks. So uh, first of all, we're going to categorize, categorize these together by giving them some color, just to dis distinguish them apart. Okay, the same thing with over here. We want to distinguish that those are different. See how it just makes it, it makes everything just easier to read and more understandable. And that way you don't, you know, get different things mixed up. You can see that we have three items. Before we had four, or we had five different um, items in these um, columns in, in these cells. But they weren't distinguished by color. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing down here. And we'll give it some borders. 
Okay. Like if I wanted to do, say, a heavy outside border. Thick or thick box border there. I'll do the same thing over here. Okay, and just to make it look a little bit neater too, I'm right. I do a right click on that cell, and I can click Insert, and it moves another cell over. Okay. Okay. So uh, we have our hours. We have our prices. Prices are in currency, so we're going to highlight those. We go up here to Number. I'm just going to click the dollar sign there. But I could also come down here, and I can click on Currency. Or I can click on accounting. I can click on anything. Percentage. These are percentages. Make it percent. And uh, we don't want. But we're doing currency. And I can come over here. Here's a little shortcut. If it was yen or euro. If it was yen. So I think you get the point. It's. Uh, it sells pretty easy to just navigate around and do different things. So um, that's what's really uh, good about Excel. Is it's very easy to use. You just have to use it so you know where to go. But it's pretty simple. Okay, so uh, right here, we're going to want to get our monthly revenues. So um, we're going to combine all the calculations that I went over in um, part one. So equals... Now we know that there's going to be 80 hours, we don't know, but there'll be, we're expecting 80 hours of debt to rentals in April, and that's going to be $65 an hour. So 80 times 65 plus, I'm just doing parentheses to make it separate each one, 50 times 100. Plus eighty times okay. So we're expecting eleven thousand four hundred dollars of revenues in April. Now, uh, say I were to want to drag this over, I would actually have a problem. You see? Look at that. Why am I not earning any revenues? Earlier I showed you that you could drag the formulas over. The reason why is because these, the prices right here, are not carrying over. So what we need to do is we need to lock these cells in the formula. And we do that by simply, you can see this is C11, C12, and C13. So we want to come in this formula here, and the way we lock these is we put a dollar symbol because we want to lock the column, and before the number we want to lock the row. Lock the column and the row. And the same thing for C13. These are all the prices because that's one input box. We are referring to those numbers no matter those cells no matter what and enter. Now I should be able to drag these all the way over and add numbers if we do. Then you see how I just highlighted those and it expanded both of those cells instead of having to do them each individually. Okay, so we have our uh, hours. We have our, our monthly revenues. Um, <clears throat> getting a little bit big. Okay, I'm going to drag this over because now what we're going to do is we can combine more of those functions to be equal to sum All the jet ski hours time to be started price per hour for jet ski. There. Now we can drag these down because these are relative. We don't have to lock them in. 